Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Matasano. This is gelato, and I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly, uh, Matasano, because we have never heard of them before. It's small batch gelato and sorbet. It says, be curious, eat friendly. Uh, this is actually made in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, it's www.matasanogelato.com. And we bought these in Ohio at Jungle Gems International Market. Our tag got lost, so I apologize. I can't tell you how much we paid for them. Um, I'm gonna guess eight ninety nine. The tag could be at the bottom of the freezer. I don't know. If you're in uh, Cincinnati and you know how much these cost, you can let us know. It's anywhere from a dollar to twelve dollars. Yeah, and you just don't know. <laughs> uh, this is one pint, so we have the gluten-free hokey pokey, the brownie sundae, gluten-free caramello and sea salt, and then strawberry cookies and cream. So not of them, not all of them say gluten-free. No. So only two of them. So it says, we thrive on curiosity expressed through creativity. In this tub of goodness, you'll get a taste of our imagination, our experiments, and our passion. You'll feed yourself with ingredients that we carefully chose for flavor and quality. Matasano's is the maestro of flavor, and you're about to experience our magnum opus. Uh, honeycomb toffee and vanilla gelato. One taste and you'll turn yourself around. Because it's called Hokey, hokey Pokey. Uh, honeycomb flavor, to honeycomb toffee and vanilla. So I don't know how, it looks like the lid just pops off. There we go. Ah, there we go. I didn't want you to break a nail. Nah. <laughs> okay. So. Don't want no broken nails. <laughs> Whoop. There we go. It's full of stuff. Really yeah, it is full of stuff. Yeah. It almost looks like pumpkin. It, it almost look like pumpkin? Yeah, and it's honeycomb toffee and vanilla. <sighs> smells good. Mm. I was expecting that to be crunchy, but it's and not. It's not crunchy it's, at all. It's more just caramel. -y. Yes. Yeah, because there's like a little hunk right there. Mm -hmm. And I was expecting that to be crunchy, but it's not. It literally just dissolves in your mouth. That's good. It's very, it's, it's caramel, really. As sweet as it is, I don't, it's, as sweet as it is, and I do like it, and I do like the texture. I would like it to be even sweeter. <laughs> I would like Pretty more, sweet. I would like more sweetness. I like it. I like it too. I think it's delicious. It, it just, it tastes like a, I agree, it's got like a little bit of a burnt, burnt sugar kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's a little, it's got a touch of bitterness to it and it takes away some of the sweetness that's there. That's what it is. That's exactly yeah. what it is. He expressed it better than I could have. Yeah, it's not that it's not sweet, but it I think that bitterness sweet. takes away from the sweetness a little bit. It, and it, it's delicious and I could eat the entire container. It's good. It's not as good as like a pure caramel, which I'm kind of looking forward to the caramel that we're going to get to. I forgot the most important part. A half a cup is 150 calories and there are four servings. Oh, that's wow. not bad. 100 that's, that's not bad at no, all. Not bad at all. Uh, this one is uh, caramello and sea salt, and so it is uh, yes, it is gluten free, and it's half a cup, ninety four grams, is one hundred eighty calories. So not that much. More. No, not at all. No, no, I thought it was less. Is I thought that was like one hundred fifty. Oh, okay, okay. And we did let this lay out for just a few minutes because. The, did you say these are gelatos? Yeah, they're gelatos. They don't. They don't have the texture of gelato like we've had. They don't have. A, they don't that, have that whipped consistency. They don't have a whipped consistency. These are more like the texture of a talenti. Yeah, not bad. It's just uh, they're not a really light, airy kind of texture. Oh, now I love this. It doesn't have that that bitter burnt sugar flavor at the first one. No. It's base it's similar flavors. Yeah. But it's missing the bitterness. This reminds me of something we've had from the UK. Um like um good. Yeah. I know what you're thinking of. 
there's a fudge. Mm -hmm. A fudge toffee or something like that. Yes. Toffee fudge. Yeah. That tastes just like that. Yes, exactly. It's just in, in gelato form. Mm -hmm. It's That's excellent. Good. Yeah, that would be the one that I would buy out of the two again and again. And it, it does have some salt to it because it almost makes you thirsty. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. This is the brownie sundae gelato, and it does not say gluten free. Um, I'm guessing because it's got little brownie pieces in it. You know what else it doesn't have? Calories. It doesn't have calories on it. Hmm. Huh. That's odd. Yeah, brownie sundae gelato. Like I said, I'm assuming this has some kind of brownie in it, but you have gluten in there. Whereas these were just flavors. Oh, look at here. I see Look at that. Oh, yeah. Big hunk of brownie. Yeah. Wow. You can take some of that. I'll take a, a little piece so that you can. Looks like a big well, hunk of fudge. Yeah. I figured you'd want to try it. I mean, show it. Yeah. I would definitely want a piece of that brownie. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a hunk. Mm-hmm. You want more? Mm-mm. Got nuts in there too. That's the texture of a little Debbie brownie. Mm -hmm. That's the texture of a cosmic brownie. It's not nuts. It's um. It's supposed to be chocolate chip or no chocolate it, chips. It, it, I think that's what it is. Is a chocolate chip. At first, I thought it was like a. No, it doesn't say chocolate chip. I don't. I don't. I'm, that, that's why I'm looking. I don't get any chocolate chips. I don't think it is chocolate chips. So whatever you were gonna say. It's not chocolate chip. There's something crunchy, or one little piece of crunchy in that brownie. Oh. No, to no, me, no. that tastes like a little Debbie brownie. Um, it, I don't really like it that much. I don't either. <laughs> I don't eat little it's Debbie very, brownies. It's very, very artificial. Mm. I don't eat little Debbie brownies. Now, the grandkids absolutely adore little Br Debbie brownies. Like because the cosmic brownies. They don't have the standards that I do. <laughs> so, they will eat those. Um, I, it if does I'm, taste like a brownie that they bought somewhere and stuck it. And in they there. stuck it in there. Yeah. Uh, and that might not be true, but that's just what, that's it, what tastes it comes like. Right. It comes across as very artificial, mm -hmm. mass-produced. If, if I want a brownie, I'm gonna make me a, a box of Ghirardelli brownies and make them in the oven. I don't want one that's in a package. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would not get that again. No, that one I didn't really get. And I don't that. know what the little piece was. The, the I think it was like a little chocolate chip in that because brownie. Because see, I didn't get, I didn't get that in my But I got a huge hunk of that brownie. Right. So. You got a bigger hunk of brownie than I did. But did. even the ice cream itself, or the gelato itself, is just okay. This is the strawberry cookies and cream. And this one uh, does not have any calories on it either. So I don't know how we got some. I guess they're going through a process where now this looks like it has lots of cookies and they look like crushed up oreo cookies just so you know I'm trying to get some of that there we go that's the best cookies and cream is the oreo yeah it looks like they use crushed up oreo cookies or a store brand mm. there's a big hunk of i love the strawberry Big hunk of cookie in there. Love the strawberry. Yeah, I don't know how well it goes with the chocolate though. Mm. I think it's delicious. I didn't get a big hunk of cookie like you did, but I do have cookie here. No. I mean, I got the small pieces too. That was a bad. It's not one I would gravitate towards. I love strawberry ice cream. Mm. It's not one I would gravitate towards, but it is good. I think it's wonderful. Uh, that's my second favorite. Caramel's your favorite. Caramel's my favorite. Or Caramelato or whatever. What was it called? Caramelato. Caramelato and, and sea salt. salt. That's, that's gonna my be favorite my number too. one. Because it does taste just like a fudge we've had from the UK. Really delicious. <clears throat> my second though is gonna be the strawberries. My second's a toffee. And the toffee. Although whatever that's called. The honeycomb. Honeycomb. Hokey pokey. Hokey pokey. That's my <laughs> second. And then the, the strawberry my third. And I wouldn't get the brownie. I would never get the brownie again. No. Like a, no. It's just, it's, it, 
when I think of a brown, there's a completely different texture between a little Debbie brownie and something, and, you, make and something you make at home. Even out of a box. Yeah, yeah, because little Debbie's kind of, it has that like rubbery kind of texture. That's exactly what that is. Yeah, it's the same and, texture. Really. Yeah, I, I can't imagine them making those there because it sure is like they use little Debbie brand. Um, but I definitely, if you get a chance to try this brand, I would try the Carmeletto for sure. Yeah, yeah um, it's really good. Or the Hokey Pokey. You'll have to let us know. And we have never seen these anywhere else but Jungle Gems. So, especially... I've been around Cincinnati. So I know, yeah. because they're made there. But especially, like, if you're in uh, Indiana. People in Indiana, you're right next door to Ohio. Yeah. Maybe, you you, maybe you get them over there. Um, I have not seen them this far down in Kentucky, though. So, it'll just be interesting how far the reach is. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.